All right, finally, fellas, let's switch gears and look at the DK Sportsbook here. So which matchup features the best bets out there today? What do you think, Garyan? So I was a little thrown off by the over-under in the Raptors-Bulls game. I'm just really used to seeing Raptors games in the mid-two teens, uh, and this is at 225 and a half. They have been hitting the over quite a bit when playing in Toronto with no fans. Uh, I know there was a lot of like study put into that during the bubble and, and how that does affect the over and shooting percentages, but in general, the Raptors are a team just built to hit unders. I mean, across their last 10 games, they have a top 10 defensive rating and they have the slowest pace in the NBA. They're averaging under 95 possessions per 48 minutes. The Bulls are a talented offensive team. Their defense has been leaky the last couple of weeks, but I still think this is a really big number for a Raptors game. So I'm just going to take the under considering it's hit nine of their last 13 contests. Nick, what do you think? Which matchup features the best bets out there? Yeah, I like the under in the Lakers Clippers game. 219 and a half is the number there. We'll see if that moves throughout the day. Uh, and I also like the Suns to cover four and a half at Atlanta. Uh, what really, whether Trey Young plays or not, you know, that probably affects the line. But I think I would take Phoenix no matter what. Atlanta just 13 and 13 against the spread at home. They're 7 and 13 against the spread as an underdog, just 1 and 3 against the spread as a, <clears throat> excuse me, home underdog this season. Meanwhile, Phoenix 15 and 8 against the spread on the road and 12 and six against the spread as a road favorite. So a lot of reasons to think that the Suns keep it rolling. All right, what do you think, Matt? So a lot of uncertainty with a lot of different injuries. I'll stick with the game that Darian mentioned, which is one of the few where we actually know who's playing, at least you know with some level of certainty for both teams. I'm just gonna pick the Raptors to cover. I've been anti-Bulls for a few weeks now. I really think that those Alex Caruso and Lonzo Ball injuries are just being dramatically overlooked and if this bulls team had to play a full season without those two guys i don't think they even get in the playoffs like this is a team that can look really good on a on you know a once in a while basis because they do have the high volume shooters and levine and DeRozan can get hot in any given game but overall this is not that efficient of an offense it's an okay one and it's a really bad defense and i think the raptors are a good team so even though they don't have any fans out there to cheer them on. Uh, the Bulls still do have to travel to Toronto to play there. Maybe that's where Toronto's getting their home court advantage from just because people have to fly to Canada. So I still like the Raptors to cover. It's up to minus three and a half, but I think it should be a lot higher.